Why is he in Canada? In five. Oh my god. Four. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't care less. I love when you guys are here. I don't have to do anything. Good evening. Hi, Lauren. Hello to you at home. Welcome back. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jay Ryan. You're in the late night playset. Actually, I'm in the late night playset. What is the late night playset? In this case right now, it's our kitchen bar. Those guys over there, those guys over there are sitting in the actual late night playset over there with the beautiful uh, pretty lady, which everybody uh, tunes in to see over there. Nicole, hello. Also, also, we've got the window cam, the Instagram window cam for the peepers out there and up in Canada itself wearing his good vibe shirt. Thank you, sir. Mr. Canadian Mike. Hi, buddy. Place at North. Happy to be here. I'm excited for tonight's show. Place at North. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> They're asking questions already. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's going to be It's going to be fun. This is going to be fun. The, we're off the rails already. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. These are the nights where I don't have to do anything. I just I just try to keep up. So, uh, Will, Will, where's Will? Will, start this thing off, would you? He's like, who's Will? I'm, I suffer from anxiety oh, and depression. <laughs> How do those... Bam, oh, that's him. Bam, bam, No, we'll go. How's that? There it is. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Thursday, May 4th. Oh, I'm not a fucking guy. They got a whole goddamn day now for a movie franchise. May the 4th be with you. Are you guys. Oh, no. No. I mean, yes, I get it. May the 4th be with you. The whole thing. Yeah. I was, old, I was old enough that I actually went to the first Star Wars in the theater in 1976. Oh, yeah? When I, when I was the movie memorabilia collector geek. I had the pre, what did they call them? The, the, before the movie came out, there were one sheets. Oh, yeah. And they were the pre, pre-announcement or whatever the hell they were, one sheets. I had all that from Star Wars, geeked all up on it. It was James Bond geek. Oh, Shocking. Yeah. No, that one I get. Yeah. from geekdom? I don't I do, I, no. I didn't graduate from it. I just got better at it. <laughs> <laughs> it was major geekdom. Geek <laughs> yeah. Some would say. 
<laughs> See what I mean? Gozer. All I did was tell you the date. Here we are. So you're a dork. <laughs> so there's that. Let's try to do 80s all night. Did you guys drive together in the same car? Yes. So it was oh. a warm up for this. Oh, yeah. It, oh, it's fantastic, too. Avis. Only Avis would rent you a 40,000 mile. 2019 Infinity SUV of some kind. It's like driving a pillow. It's like a pillow with a rudder on it. I mean, it's just the worst <laughs> What's thing. What's even better is, are the folks in the product group at Infinity said, yeah, that's green like this. This is a great thing. This is what people will want. Well, I stuck guy in Canada. You didn't answer that. Oh, oh. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, he, well, <laughs> we'll let him do it. Hey, Mike, why are you in Canada? Mike, what's the deal? Uh, we'll get to that in a second, but wait a second. You had the original Star Wars figure one sheet, the preview figures, and you got them like later on in the mail? Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well done. Uh, <laughs> Mike up there in Canada is a big fan of mostly everything, including uh, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was around Mike, for that. I yeah. have all my Star, Star Wars figurines. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, like I used to, you know, Boba Fett's cool now. This is the way I handle it. I carry Boba Fett with me everywhere as a kid. Mm. <laughs> Move the mic a little closer, please. Oh, sorry. Oh, you there know you what? Go. It's probably me. It's probably me. It's probably oh, me. Oh, 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 it's Jay. Phone. I'm glad they're... How's that? Oh, boy. How's that? Test, test. Yeah. Hello? Testies one Is and two. home? <laughs> test, test. <laughs> I think we're all good now. <laughs> that's, that's, isn't that... Uh, it was Beavis and Butthead. Correct. Right? Testies one <laughs> and two. One, two, uh, three. <laughs> three. <laughs> That was a hell of a pull. Thank you. Keeping it with well, the 90s I vibe. I like it. it. We're Didn't saying 80s, 90s answer. on that. Answer! Where is it? Canada! There's, there's a thousand miles between here and Canada. We're in, and you on the Vancouver side or the Montreal side? Yeah, no. We're, we're on the Vancouver side. And uh, the short answer is I'm a straggler that never left. I'm a guy that hung on. And I'm still hanging on to the back of the pickup truck on my skateboard that is uh, the late night playset. Jesus oh, Christ, I, I would have said, I live here. That's where he lives. I live in Canada. <laughs> so, I'm, now I'm sorry, I asked seven times. <laughs> <laughs> I, now that I got the answer. He's a weird one. Sometimes I live in a place called in Kelowna, British Columbia, which is near Vancouver. BC. Got it. Yeah. Mike, I like your yeah. setup there. Yeah. It looks just as impressive. Maybe not as impressive, but it's impressive. Mike is the host of the Letterman podcast, and that bridge is actually authentic from, the, uh, from the late show set. Whoa. So you're kind of right on the money there. Yeah. Nicely done. Uh, uh, now that we got him, I feel like we should just constantly just drill it. Sometimes Mike gets into shtick mode. He just does shtick. Uh, he gets shticky, and it sh- depends. He was with his granddaughter right before this, so he's probably still used to talking to children. So maybe this is <laughs> that's this perfect for us. Cause we oh, is it? <laughs> look at old granddaughter. Is no. that right, Mike? Uh, it is. I was just with her. She's actually still upstairs right now. And apparently uh, Mike was a it child. Was a delightful bride. day. Beautiful, sunny <laughs> in the park all day with her driving around in the Bronco. That was fun. But I'm happy to be Bronco. here with uh, all of us right now. New Bronco. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's got a new Bronco. Waited a year and a couple months for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Finally got it. He put his stripes on it, and it's all tonk it out. looks awesome. Hmm. It's tonk it out. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it well, looks like my dad's old Scout with Scout badging on the side of it, and it confuses many people driving down the highway. It's great. Oh, sweet Scout. Oh, no, wait, it's Bronco. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, he's, he's a fan of everything. It's a skunk. Oh. It's a skunk. Well, he's still in Canada, so he's up there <laughs> it's for a all while. Right. What yeah. do you have against he Canada? Is telling uh, it's other than the fact that you were in the heart of production in the United States. Oh, and our producers yeah. in, in Canada, Canada, like we uh, couldn't find it. Well, we've no. outsourced. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's oh, like, there was a bunch <laughs> of Jane Ryan show is evolving. It's like really. He's, at least he's not on strike either because he's in Canada. So exactly. Yeah. Well, luckily he's not much of a writer. <laughs> No, nor am I, if you we couldn't tell. This pic- show needs right. In fact, <laughs> we saw fact, some picket lines today. If we don't need to make this announcement, I don't think I think everyone else knows, but uh, this show will be operating tonight without writers. Hmm. <laughs> and who puked on the keyboard here? Oh, I'm so glad you think it's puke. That's most, pe- most people go another. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it does look like spooge. The truth is. <laughs> who splatted? <laughs> splatted. You know what it is. You just forgot. It's this. It's tons and tons of it is. That's my favorite part of the show. All right, thanks. This was fun, guys. Cam was like, I wore a hat. I I knew better. Yeah, he's he's drinking. I still want him to belch like crazy. I I have no agenda because whenever you guys are here, uh, we... We throw it out the window anyway. I figured we'd talk post Lufka cult, right? Mm. You guys were in town for that, I'm assuming. Mm -mm. No, No? we're not. Boycotted it. Oh, you... 
Well, not purposely. We just just didn't come. <laughs> didn't didn't think it was worth going to. <laughs> Fine. Oh my gosh, that's a, they yeah. say that out loud. Yes, you did. But I I, I wish I would have gone. My my uh, my brother went and a couple other road scholars, and we sent four cars. But I mean, the cool thing about Louvre to Cold, as we all know, is you don't have to go because <laughs> you literally see the show in, in, in everyone's perspective, and that's the beauty. Of the successful formula is everyone's an active participant that does go, mm. but if you don't have the good fortune to go, you still get to see the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really the beauty of it. From almost every angle. From every angle. For like a year. Yep. Did you go? <laughs> Got close. <laughs> <laughs> Got close. <laughs> Got on the highway? Got what happened? Close. <laughs> no, we were up there. We were up there. They asked us to, uh, the R Group guys and, and a few other uh, uh, people up there asked us to do the GVBC thing we do on Fridays up there. Oh, that's sort of cool. a pre-Luft uh, uh, meetup. Right, because so, you said when I contacted you, you were up there. Yeah. Okay. So we, were, so we were. We were up there for that. But it was also our first trip of any kind in about six or seven years, maybe. Oh. Really? It was the first time traveling at all since you couldn't walk. Yeah. Um, so it was all kind of a learning curve. Also, we broke something on yellow cars. So it was some crazy rattle. It's running fine, but like, I don't know, we broke out an exhaust something. So it sounds awful. So, so it was like a romantic going getaway. To, yeah, it just, yeah. everything became a lot. Everything became a lot. Like our hotel wasn't ADA compliant, even though it was supposed to, our room was supposed to be, whatever. Just all these little things kind of added up to, are you ready to go home? Yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 This was, <laughs> this was over. One, so you were like, check. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then I couldn't get the car thing out of my head, even though I knew it probably wasn't a mechanical problem. I was like, but when the motor's running, it makes a crazy noise, and that's killing me. <laughs> and we've got to drive home 400 miles. And you're thinking about it each and every tenth of the mile. I've been there. Yeah, yeah and every something. time I turned it up. So it was just kind of that and the stretch. It was just all a lot. So yeah. we didn't make it. Plus, Quality we time. would have needed a car just to drive around Lufka Cult. I, I mean, I understand. Yeah, like all the we pictures looked like nobody cart. was there because it was so spread out. It's, I mean, it was like a naval base, right? Or yeah. the shipyard of some shipyard, sort. So it was yeah. huge. Yeah. And I thought the other locations were huge. Yeah. This one looked massive, massive. Yeah, cause it seemed it, like you could have put some old Lifka cult shows in some of the buildings from this show. Wow. Wow. Inter right? I, I was just shocked they did another one so quickly. Because the last one was in the fall, right? It was The yeah. one in L.A., yeah. Yeah. So I'm like... Okay, what was, you're right about that. What was that, October or something, maybe? Yeah, it wasn't that long maybe ago. you're right. But yeah. I would say unanimously, with all the people that I know that went, they, they've they all said that it's the best show. That it's their favorite Luft, and everyone I've spoken to has been to practically every one. I don't know how you beat that location. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't there personally, but the photos are amazing. Yeah, the it's, photos are amazing. You think it was better than Universal? Like doing By it far. There? Universal, to me, was not much of a thing. It's because like your backyard. <laughs> yeah. Literally, <laughs> it was yeah. like, it was like there are so many places on that lot that I know to shoot. I mean, it would I could have gone with Jeff and helped him on that one. You know? <laughs> not like he would have needed it. Not not like he would have needed it. Right. Excuse me for yeah. even saying such a thing. But like I know that lot so stinking well, and it was the same thing. You were beginning to not be able to walk, and it was just a lot. And we called it, it was like the day out. We called it because it's across the street. It was the closest yeah. one we could have walked to it. Well, oh, sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, I'll hit him for you. This by guy. the way, sorry. I mean really. Sorry, <laughs> I get it. I mean, some, get, people, some get, people could have. Nicole, that's great. <laughs> I got the divorce papers in my car. You want to sign them? I'm, I'm going mm. to just change, you know, change the name on them. So. What are you going to do? Yeah, it's all right. Honestly, the uh, worse this gets, uh, we, we are still laughing, but the humor seems to get darker. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I <laughs> it's like kind of a coping mechanism. Yeah. That, do you find it as well? Yeah. Mine and yours? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that, I think that's real. It matches the situation. Sad, you know, it's... You take darker shots because it makes you laugh harder. There's I mean, no other way to look at this. The like, you can't higher. be happy and be like, hey, what's up? Like, yeah. Well, what, is it, what does it look like? So? I look yeah. like a jerk. I'm that yeah. cheaper all the day. No, you get a pass for how dark you want to go. You go right ahead. We'll give you the pass. No looking like a jerk, Nicole. Yeah. I kind of feel like the darker, the better on this one at this point. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like you really, there is no, you have the golden pass that comedians wish they had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'd be, be saying canceled, No matter how bad you go. On randomly this. tell people to fuck off at will all the time. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, did you tell Rain Wilson to fuck off for any reason? I still that was my next question. We were going to talk about that. Ooh, Do you I want to sit name. here? What? <laughs> Do you want to sit here? I love it. This uh, has been the whole day, by the way. So I just. <laughs> took I'm like, my, what's his name? My, yes, my, you are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm like Ed, Ed, Ed over. I'm like Ed McMahon. What's his face? I'm like Ed McMahon over here. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Correct. Uh, dark. <laughs> she used to tell Rain Wilson what to do on a regular basis. She used to represent uh, Rain oh, Wilson. Okay. Mm. And worked with him for many, many years. Oh, that's cool, Nicole. Yeah. So, um, in my personal opinion, he came back here as a favor to her. <laughs> that's oh. what I would say. <laughs> that's cool. But he seemed to enjoy it, which was nice, and I think he'll be back, which is great. Is he out here? Is he an L.A. guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but he was he was he was great. That was like apparently one of our best shows. I haven't seen it. I don't watch them back anymore. I'm over it. But I, a lot of <laughs> you a know, lot of good. When you feedback. do hundreds of them, you kind of go screw it. I'm done. It's more yeah. of the self loathing part. It's like yeah, once you get over the first bunch, where you've probably you're so good at this. It strikes me that you might have wanted to do this part at some point. Did you ever want to be like a broadcaster, a radio guy? Or? I worked in TV for four years. Oh yeah, that's right. So <laughs> no, but about behind the camera, not in front of the camera, and. I've just been around it so much. I was actually married to a talking head for a while. Really? Who ended up, yeah, she ended up uh, <laughs> local news. Um, Where? What's her name? Who is it? Hold on, I'll tell you. She went from Vermont to San Diego to Boston to... Oh, now he's hold on, I'll tell you. New York. <laughs> Why is he in Canada? Hold What's on. going on with Ring Wilson? Mr. Invasion. Dateline? I used to work on Dateline, you son of a bitch. Don, I started Dateline. Don for Did you really? Does that name mean anything to you? No, or maybe Stone Phillips when I was there. Well, Stone Phillips, sure. Yeah, she, uh, she probably... It was, it was now with Katie Couric first, and then they didn't do that great, and they rebranded it to Dateline with yeah. Stone Phillips. I can't remember if it was, it was so long ago. I can't remember if it was, she went to Dateline or 2020. That name's yeah. so hot, Stone Phillips. Oh, yeah, for I mean, sure. Like, and he was good looking. He yeah. looked like Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. He was like, really good looking. I'm like, Stone Phillips. So, <laughs> Stone <laughs> coming down that stupid staircase. <laughs> Correct. Right. Oh, that was the best. I love that. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> I forgot right. his son is me, shit. Stone Phillips. Him? Him? I didn't know he wasn't around anymore. Oh, maybe I, is he could be. Last I mean, I, when I met her, somehow Dateline just turned into like murder shows. It used to be like oh, really it's all, interesting it's all magazine murder show. mysteries now. That's all yeah. like oh, it was twenty. No, she was on twenty twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, because it wouldn't have been Dateline. ABC affiliate was twenty twenty. <laughs> I know. I have nothing to say. Yeah, so <laughs> you got you it. never worked there. Don't you just took the air out of the room. Thanks, Steven. <laughs> thanks for sucking the life sucking out of the, the life out of the room. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> segue in something quickly. What are you gonna do? Yeah, but I was always around it. <laughs> it was always around well, so the first few of these, like you're just excited to see yourself doing the thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. You're just excited to see that, oh, I'm the going through the product. motions. I'm just going through the motions. It doesn't matter that it sucks. So like the first handful you watch back and you want to get better and, oh, you're happy to see it. After a certain time, yeah, it's, I couldn't even, I couldn't even imagine it. I can't, I can't stand the thought of it, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> at the beginning part. When I think about doing this live, I can't, I, w- I'm, I want to shut up and you guys just do it like now that i'm thinking about it how is that <laughs> how i am still talking when that decision to go live though was it impactful in terms of viewership or any response back Is to it change the show to live yeah uh i did that you want me to be honest yeah like really honest yeah i should say it was for the audience the truth is i did that for me so i could learn how, how to be better Doing this stuff in the bank is easy. Doing yeah. this stuff when nobody's actually watching is easy because yeah. there's like, I could change it if I want. I could cut if something if right. I wanted. I could edit it. All uh, the, once I'm... we had that part down, right. I, I always wanted to get good at this job. This was a career shift for us. We yeah. were professionally invisible. And now you put us in front of the camera and I look around. Like if I'm going to do something, I'm going to learn to do it well, even if it takes a million years. I mean, I'm shocked how everything has changed since the last killer. time I was here. It's killer. It's, it's like killer. it's refined, yeah. evolved. It's really impressive. We see what you've been doing during COVID yeah. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we, we blew it out in COVID. Yeah, we yeah, used yeah. to just be contained in Even the room. VIP yeah. luxury room in there with everything. The green room is yeah, nice, that, right? And the green room is amazing. I was like, whoa. Magnus at first, he was like, oh, I don't know what this is for. I don't think you need it. And then, and then the second, <laughs> second visit, Hannah was with Having him. And just they were just been with him? Out yeah. Like literally? Yeah. That's where he came from? Yeah. That's very funny. Yeah. He, and then, and then was, he came back with Hannah, and then they were hanging out in there. And he goes, oh, I wasn't for it in the beginning, but I'll tell you what. Now I'm definitely for the green room. <laughs> That's a really good Magnus, and, and you know, maybe you should start. We doing also this. spend a lot of time. Yeah. You should do his voiceovers on his new show. <laughs> we used to do it here. He <laughs> used to do it right here for that show. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. They used our studio for uh, whatever that show was Some called. The, oh, the that, next big thing. Before OPP the OPP. With Jay. Before yeah. that one, yeah. Yeah, the Haggerty one. The uh, yeah. The next. The next big thing, and the then it was called thing, the big thing. The big thing. The big thing. Yeah, those were fun. That's cool. But yeah, you know, I, I'm not a, a I'm not a, a professional entertainer in any way, shape, or form. I don't need to tell you that based on this right now. But I am some kind of a professional m- you don't mimic. Even juggle, you don't even mime. Spinning Come the on. plates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pay no attention. <laughs> Running up and Nothing at all. That's no, fun. but but you know, you know, whatever the heck, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's talk about you guys. Yeah. I'm sick of talking about. How do you do that every time? 
hijack what, everything. Yeah, Tur- you turned it around. He's a professional around. hijacker. I mean, he's a perpetual line stepper. Yeah, that's true. My, line my wife will say, "There's the line." How and you didn't step over it again. You took like a long jump over. Okay, thanks, honey. <laughs> thanks very much. Keeps me in place. Um, so what, are, what are we doing out here? What are you doing out here? What are you doing? Yeah, if it's oh, not for Lufkakol, what are you here what for? What are you here for? We were whoring ourselves. Um, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> it's an existential we crisis. Had, we had a little bit of a moment today whether it was pimping or whoring. I think technically it's pimping. Correct. Um, one of the things we were doing is gathering... Uh, met with Magnus to talk about... <laughs> Are you going through your head in love when you do this? Yeah, I'm trying to think the right way to, to answer why we were yes, here. Yes, you're doing correct, it. sir. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Taking a while to get it out there, kid. <laughs> we had a moment. We had an aha moment of Porsche's 75th anniversary. Mm. What do we sell? Oh. Oh. Porsches. Yeah. Mm. Let's think. How can we get involved? So we're, we came up with this idea of co-branding um, an auction within an auction. So on Bring a Trailer, Everybody one of the reasons why we're here, okay. yeah, we put together an instant Porsche collection for people to buy. Like it's one still of these, one of these, a, it's one of these. still evolving a little bit. It's either going to be eight or ten cars, all very Snack different. Box. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, here. If you, want, if you wanted a rally car, if you wanted a race car, if you wanted a bunch of street cars, if you wanted... The rarest a RS Rensport, car. A Rensport car for Rensport, if you want. Yeah. You need to watch the cars we launch uh, over Memorial Day weekend to end being sold on June 8th on Bring a Trailer. On the anniversary of the 70th. So it, we, we're calling it Group P, oh, 75 nice. and on. Okay. You like that branding? Magnus came up with that. Group P? Why not? Group, group P. Yeah. Group P. Gruppy. Gruppy P. Gruppy. Gruppy P. This is the German oh, group spelling. Oh, Gruppy, of course, yes. Group, group P. Group P. But um, instead of our group, it's Group P. Yeah, Group P. 75 years on. So that's... How do you say group? Group P. Group P. Group Yeah, group. that's what I say, too. Group. Group. Some people I am Groot. Groot P. Group P. Some people are hardcore on the Group A and the Group A. Oh. oh, man, I love getting corrected in Porsche culture. It's really? <laughs> oh, is that your favorite thing? I world? love when I get around a bunch of really folks stooped in it, and I just say Porsche just to get them unraveled. <laughs> You'll do it on purpose. Like oh, a totally on purpose. In, or Group A, Group E. <laughs> Setting up the lob. Setting up the lob. It's too so, easy. And they, ta- they take it. Oh, they, they ruffles their the feathers, and right away it's great. Does it depend on the group of Porsche people you're in? I think you know, it does. PCA I mean, people tend to kind of... They want you know, that shit to be buttoned up. Correct. It's got to be buttoned up. You got to know your audience. Like, if you're in front of a PCA crowd, you definitely are buttoned up. So, our group A's, probably not. It's I wouldn't imagine so. <laughs> no. It's going to be exhausting. No. Yeah. Can't anymore. I, I, I wake up in the morning to try to micro-grieve as many people as I can. <laughs> <laughs> micro-grieve. I was like, please, please stop saying that. It's like... I would be lying then, darling, if you didn't think I was going to go out today and make a couple people go, What's wrong with that? Yeah, what's what's wrong with him? Like, can't say that anymore. Yes, I can. I just did. Wait, micro. So, I thought you micro, said micro agree. Aggrieve. Micro agree. Aggrieve. Like, ah. I want to micro aggrieve as many people Hilarious. as possible. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> I just want to. Yes. Just, <laughs> <laughs> offending people. <laughs> One woke group at a time. <laughs> the whole Porsche group. <laughs> Polarizing. <laughs> <laughs> What was my nickname? You uh, said that you hoped to get on air tonight. What was that? I you said you said you were going to try to to re- refer to me as. I put it right by the rim for you. I don't even remember. It's been such a long day. You're across the street in the apartment. What you have? A little TIA moment? I guess. I have no idea. Uh, this Mexican coke's got me all messed up. <laughs> Sugar high. Begins with a C. Generally, where did you? Oh, can't I say can't say that now. No. Why? Well, you can't. Because oh, now you're not going to say. It. My mother and girlfriend are watching. They would not <laughs> be like. Uh, I'm glad you said you referenced your brother and then also your mother and girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, condolences on your dad. Ah, uh, thank you. So yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. yeah, since you've been here last. It's, yeah. Uh, just well, sorry. you know, it's a. It's an interesting thing. I, I I'm so lucky. I'm very grateful because I have two incredible parents, and that's. Uh, I won the lottery with parents, and my father, who's my, my best friend, he had an 80 great years, and he have, he did so much good in the world. He put so much good in the world and did so many good deeds, and that's really his legacy is all the people he helped. So, 
But you know, it's sad. And the only thing that's sad about it is I just miss him. So, mm. but very grateful. Yeah. And so, and this Porsche community, you know, Louvre to Colt, we're joking about some of the idiosyncrasies of the Porsche world, like anything nuanced in life. But the overall passion that we all feel and the greatness of the show when it's about Porsche content is the shared passion we have for the brand. And this isn't canned, but it really is. I mean, there's the people you meet and you're like, oh, my gosh, this is exhausting, right? But we all share this passion for this incredible company that's produced these incredible products based on passion and design. And, you know, we, we're, we're lucky enough to work in an industry that we've made livings and created companies and support families and ultimately have great customers and so so i'm just grateful i feel a lot more grateful than i do but you know the end was tough my father uh, had pancreatic cancer and lived five years from his diagnosis and we went through that caretaking and it, it's another reminder of how fi <coughs> finite time is yeah and what do you do with time you know and when and in this porsche world it's become such an asset class we just lose fat we lose the basic fact that we're here for such a short period of time, and how do you enjoy it to the most? It's brought a lot of those conversations to yeah. the forefront. Of Absolutely. Yeah. Do not, uh, I was lucky enough, and it, this wasn't prescient by any stretch of the imagination, but our good friend Alex Finnegan suddenly passed away. I don't know oh, if you knew Alex no. from Paul Russell. Really, sadly. Oh. So Sorry. sort of a out of the blue kind of thing. A Just jugger, as well? a, yeah, yeah, a juggernaut yeah. in our industry, a man yeah. full of class, defined everything that's good about our industry from the sales side. He, yeah. he defined that. A real mm. uh, gentleman, knowledgeable. I mean, knew everything about everything. Grew up in the car culture. We worked as the sales guy at Paul Russell and one of the partners there. And I learned it was one of the first really great people I met in the car business in 87 when I got in and we became you know, we were to say inseparable for a long time is unkind to inseparable but um, <laughs> I mean we were really just really like, when, when he calls uh, my wife would be like your girlfriend's on the phone and Alex would call it was like your other girlfriend's on the phone it's like because we we're just constant talking so silk plates <laughs> on a new 911 one says um, I shall use my life. And the other one says, enjoy every sandwich. So being a pop culture guy like yourself. Yeah, you knew I got that one right away. Well, I, got, I was the first comment, I think, on that one. Yeah. yeah. So you got, and it's, it's Go ahead. True. Tell people what that one's enjoy from. Enjoy every sandwich. Yeah, well, enjoy every sandwich is when Warren Zevon uh, was on his last visit with David Letterman in 2003. Um, Letterman asked him, so... Now that you've got this diagnosis, you know, I'm not going to see you again. You're not going to be around much longer. Um, can you share anything with the audience? And he just, in his droll way, went, enjoy every sandwich. Like that's Takeaway is do not waste a moment. And at the end of the Bond movie, the last Bond movie, when they're toasting him, it's the Jack London quote of, I shall use my life. Yeah. So being the Bond geek, I thought, oh, this is perfect. This Such is a point. reminder every time I step in the car. Mm. Like... Go enjoy this. Beautiful. Yeah, just go enjoy it. So yeah, we've been talking about it. We've mm. talked about it with Magnus today. We, you know, mm. we after you know, after he chewed us out. <laughs> oh, why were you late? <laughs> no, we were late. Exactly right. He's yeah. he's. Uh, oh my god, Mr. Punctual. How about a goddamn phone call? Yeah. Yeah. He literally took <laughs> a couple minutes. He's yeah. okay, but yeah. if I mean oh, five minutes, minutes. thirty-five is. Oh, you're oh, late. Yeah, late. Well, yeah, it was, it was late. He yeah. was like being the principal's office. <laughs> I was like, dude, we were like, this is bad. Like, He's He's like, Magpie's really, really mad. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> it's like, we're all best friends. And That's hilarious. I was like, why didn't you text him? You looked at me, why didn't you text him? Was this for an, uh, oh, because this was an actual meeting meeting too. Yeah, sometimes. Well, yeah, it, it, it had, it's we've got business. So, so we, we've consigned, we've con first consigned it for an auction within an auction. So Magpie is going to do something with this for this. Oh, good. For yeah. this group P. 75 and on. Good. We've yeah. got... Uh, to create something or put no, something in it? No, something, he's putting something, putting something in it. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, we've got a car that uh, was one of Rod Emery's specials, which is one of the first cars one he did. One of the first cars. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's the car that's still on his landing page on his website, the black car with the green interior. Of course, yeah. Exactly. So Gorgeous. we've got that. We've got something from Magnus. We've got everything from... Carrera engine 356 through a 910. This is not a through. Porsche starter kit. This no. is like a true snack pack. 911R, 993RS, <laughs> uh, 97 Turbo with 600 miles. I mean, there's a good selection a of... 97 Turbo, so 993 Turbo. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> yeah with 600. So the wow. cool, th the cool so thing, it's, a, it's the ultimate like, thought... This is going to go for a fortune. 
Well, it's the th- really. it's the ultimate thought experiment in yeah. today's market, right? Because BAT is the great equalizer. And so it's neat to because put Because everyone it, has access. Because everyone has access. Right. And so it's mm-hmm. going to be really neat to see these 8 to 10 cars up there that we're doing in collaboration with each other and to see how the market and how people respond. It's going to be fun. We figured if we couldn't make some impact on this uh, in, in the market, it's like 700,000 registered bidders over a million registered users all over the world. Right. There's got to be one guy looking. Now, whether I don't have any great expectation that all of these things will sell, especially the, you know, perhaps even the 910 or one of the weird 356s. I but see. It's not a, everybody buys the whole. It, this oh, is, no, 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 no. I no, thought no. one person gets. No. I thought oh, yeah, like no, it was a. Be, no. it'll be, everything will be a it's standalone lot. Got yeah, it. Yeah, standalone lot. Yeah. 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 Sorry no, about no, that. No, I think yeah. you were clear. I just. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we were not. No. No, you are not, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> you are not clear. <laughs> we muddied the water, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'd, Big love, I'd love to do, I don't know, it's about $7.5 million worth of cars, so I'd love to have somebody go, I'll take them all. That, that would, would be genius. When you mentioned a car That'd collection, nice oh, we're putting a car collection, it's like yeah. a, it sounded to me like, a, oh, somebody who doesn't have a collection but wants to buy a collection. But, well, a collection. You know what's so cool is Bring a Trailer, the folks at Bring a Trailer have been so great to work with. Yeah. They've been really nice. They're like, yeah, let's do this. Let's work with this. A, a Porsche anniversary sale on their on their format. and. I love bringing. We love. Wait, I think I know. I think I thought of that because of you. You guys did all of the RS. You were the guys where they do the groupings of all of those. uh, Didn't you do a grouping of a bunch of RS? You, the Ingram Collection, sorry, or Rogue 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 Scholars, Scholars, rather, uh, do a bunch of. We uh, did. We've recently been utilizing Bring a Trailer to some great success, and we recently did some. I don't think it was all RSs, but we've had quite a number of cars on there recently. Okay. Yep. I might not even be thinking of Bring a Trailer. It might have just been a while ago. Yeah. And I'm also confused quite often. So that's okay. <laughs> I'm naturally confused <laughs> I'm from confused the get-go. Yeah, oh, being naturally curious, I leave myself open to constant confusion. Oh, he loves oh that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, it's it's there for the guests to use, and nobody ever presses it. Really? You can't get your oh, come you on! Yes. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just one more tool. That's really great. That's great. Uh, <laughs> so that was that was part of the trip out here. But you're Mr. Fancy Pants. Is is you going to tell them what you're doing tomorrow? Oh my! I'm just a simple merchant. I just oh, listen, move it stuff and no, it's great. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We're having fun tomorrow. Whatever, Steve. <laughs> actually, this was Steve's brainchild, and this is what's so great because we collaborate together all the time. We're best friends, but we also collaborate like. Bring in Magnus and he was. In, we were with dinner with Hannah and Magnus last night, and we're like, Magnus, what do we call this thing? I don't want to call it seventy fifth anniversary. Blah blah blah. He was like, There might be somebody doing that already. In might, the yeah, business. Yeah, there's just someone already doing that. But yeah, there yeah. definitely is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A little group, a little group called Narrow Cannon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, pick that up. Uh, no, I got it. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> can't believe yes, you said that. Yes, it's uncomfortable now. <laughs> yes, these well, are friends of mine. I know you through <laughs> for, one of the guys yeah, from yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah. But you know, Ray's doing great over there. Yeah. Oh, it, so we can. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 Ray's yeah. doing great. Um, Narrow cannon, saying? broad arrow. I see what you did. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what we're talking about. What are we talking you about? You were talking about what you're going to have fun tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, but he called it Group P, and we got through that already. Yeah, we got yeah. through that. In, uh, he came up with that idea. We, yeah. we can't take credit where. We didn't come up with things. So we were just spitballing around the table. And Hannah came up with something good, too, and I can't think of what it was now. Because he That's why you always write group, it down. With Group P. Yeah. And it was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, we were both like, oh, that's great. Because you don't have to. You, it's people who get it, get it. And it's a fun way to explain it if they don't get it. So but it was yeah, nice. So we have somebody who was very a designer making a little logo for us. Yeah, Wade. Wade is, Wade, who, uh, Wade is the, the man. Desi- oh, yeah, Wade made. Yeah, he's yeah, the he's man. He's awesome. He's the man. And he's... I can't he's, remember what the old name was. The, he changed his name oh, or something uh, on there. Uh, Designed yeah, by, something uh, by not, Wade. It was uh, a Marlon Brando movie reference. Yes, it, it was a streetcar named Wade, uh, yeah, so, something. Uh, Desire. But it wasn't that. Yeah. yeah. A, street, a streetcar yeah. Wade Desires. Wade, yeah. Wade Desire, yeah. Good job on the... Uh, you you led me down the right road. Think about that. My wife used to work with him, and then in a small world, in the advertising world, <laughs> then he ends up doing the livery for the 935. He did livery for the like, Oh, and yeah, that was awesome. And he did the livery for... Congrats again for, on that, by the way. On yeah. my Cayman. He did the graphics on my... The livery for my Cayman. 
for Pikes He's Peak. He's talented. Yeah, sweet. but great job on Pikes Peak, by the way. I can't Thanks. remember if you've been here or not since. But no, man, I have that was been. fun to watch for the rest of us. Thank well, you. Well, see, you just, you just put a bow around what we're about to talk about tomorrow. I keep embarrassing you. Yeah, you're not Yeah, saying. I'm not good at that <laughs> stuff. Uh, tomorrow, you know, I've taken, I've, uh, I'm testing a new race car. I'm, I'm, I, um, you know, remember the car that Reese Millen raced last year that he won with that yes. Joey Seeley built. So I've, I've, I'm the new owner of that car. Ah, congratulations! And I'm excited about jumping into a bigger cat. We'll be open we're racing in the open division, and uh, working with Joey on a multi-year program. And I'm really excited. I'm in the car tomorrow at Willow Springs for the first time. Wow! So I saw that car last year at Pikes Peak while I, while we were running our program and. Knowing Joey and the kind of product he builds and the kind of guy he is and the passion, his talent, I fell in love with that car. First of all, I love the GT3R platform, one of the most ultimate 911 race platforms extent. And uh, just the, all the customization. The is technically re- mid-engine, it's a, whatever they Correct. call it. Correct. It's, a, it's yeah. really slid forward, right? Yep, exactly. Awesome. So the balance of the car, but everything he's put in that car to especially be competitive at Pikes Peak. So um, I'm really excited about it. So tomorrow we're testing. I'll be in the car for the first time. and. Just excited for the new challenge. I mean, it's racing the club sport that has 420 horsepower, jumping into something with 1,200 horsepower. Yikes. So, Theoretically. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's 10 seconds a mile faster. <laughs> so. <laughs> and I'm, I'm referred to with great pride as Captain Slow, the way I drive. Yeah. So he's talking about this, and I'm thinking, hey, that's so not for me. Yeah. No, but I'm like even thinking. i really slow. Just from a discipline standpoint, does testing it around Willow Springs even do anything for you because it's so different than what what you're up against at Pikes Peak? Well, you know, I need seat time in the car because making this kind of jump. I've driven, I've raced my, I've raced my father's 935 a few years ago at Time Attack in Indy. Indy, That was a lot of fun. So I've driven a big horsepower car, but this is something completely different. So just getting seat time in the car and. And some just pre- learning the physics of what you're dealing with. The predictability, you know, so. And I love, last year I did basically a f- almost full season of WRL, the World Racing League. And, I mean, this is my hobby. <laughs> Racing is my hobby because our my job, Road Scholars and our team and our, our company in North Carolina, that's that's my responsibility is our, my team members and their families and the decisions and the projects we work on. But racing for me is like when people go to the beach or go to Italy with their family on vacation, my vacation is racing, go to the track, yeah. go to the track. So, so it's my passion. You got it, brother. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> racing. <laughs> correct. Yes. Correct, <laughs> Midlife crisis. Yes. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> between my legs. Right. It's a pretty good segue to the other thing you wanted to talk about. And I'm sure Ken and Mike would, wouldn't mind hearing more about it. Uh, also, as well as the late night set, you know they're selling the Johnny oh, yeah, Carson yeah. Tonight Show set. Are they, they really? The Archie Bunker house, the, house, the whole yeah. house set, and the front door, and oh, uh, like wow. the Cheers bar. Yeah, the Cheers In- bar. I looked up. I, I thought because I I grew up going to that the Bull and Finch. Bull and Finch. Yeah. Me too. On Beacon Street. Yeah, hilarious. That was a local. That in the sevens on Charles Street, seventy seven Charles. Are you what year was this? You're talking about eighty before well, the show. Yeah, 80, 80 to, well, Tom Kershaw when the show. You know Tom and Eddie Doyle? You remember all those guys? Sure. Hilarious. Kershaw's, Tom Kershaw owns the Bull and Finn, yeah. or the che- now it's called Cheers. But. Cheers, yeah. Well, oh, the shit. funny part is um, Doyle's in Jamaica Plain, the bar, had the shot to be the bar, mm-hmm. and they turned it down. Yeah, they looked at a few. The, Do you know was, the whole story? Well, that's, I mean, I understood they came to Boston, did the scouting. But to, only to look for, like, a, a, a uh, basically, they were looking for an exterior and uh, sort of the vibe. The, all of those guys in real life would hang out out here at Tom Bergen's on Fairfax, that place, yeah. which is technically the real cheers. And if you go in there and look at it, it doesn't look, it's not, it, all the wood's different. It doesn't have the brass rails, but the layout's the same. It's the center bar. Oh, no with kidding. The, with the wood paneling and everything all around. Yeah, you go, oh, my God. Because the Bullen Finch doesn't look anything like that it's inside. It's a tiny, tiny basement. Yeah. But yeah. if you look at all the details, the type of woodwork, the type of brass rail, the type of benches, the type of fucking knurled wood, all of that stuff is yeah. identical to the Bull & Fender. Oh, that's funny. And and the vibe of go down the stairs, there's a yep. front room, there's a back room, all of that. Well, is they got that the right Bull on the Finch. show. They had the silhouette of the stairs, you know, with the people coming down and coming Through in. The stained glass. Yeah. That was correct. So we used to get a gig a lot of it. It's like, doesn't look anything like that inside. And that was our one of our local hangs. The, the Until sevens. they ruined it. The show ruined it for like 20 years. You couldn't get a fucking seat in that place. No. no. And Kershaw cashed in with all the, all the merchandise, all the merch, those Cheers shirts. Yes. Oh, my God. All that stuff for years. Then he opened a Cheers bar in Faneuil Hall. Yep. Um, 
So that's interesting. So that the, one closed over COVID. Oh, the, it did the close. The replica bar closed over COVID. But in the meantime, he had opened up a third bar upstairs in what used to be the Hampshire House. Yeah, Remember sure. Remember that front room you used to be able to have lunch in and have dinner in? Yeah. That's now uh, the room with the fireplace. Basically, come in the front door, up the awning, yeah. and on the left. Yeah. Opposite the staircase. That's now a Cheers replica bar up there, which actually has the island bar, which He's you can go sit in and stuff. cashing in on it. <laughs> yeah. And then the room behind that that was the merch door is still the merch door. So I was in... I was in TV when that started. I think yeah, eighty two. I think is yeah. when the show came on. And Does then anyone under forty years old know what Cheers is? I mean, like probably not with any kind of mag- magnitude. Yeah. yeah, and they probably don't have the attachment because it was religious. I mean, I mean you did not, you, you didn't miss that show. Like growing up, that was like that was like family. Television. It was like family entertainment. Yeah, you know. Well, it was Cosby at eight. Yeah, right? yeah, and the, and the first boss Loved died, passed away. Uh, first season, second season. Oh, Nick Colasanto. Yeah. When Coach died? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coach. I think he was always kind of the second fiddle, but yeah, he died, and then they brought in uh, uh, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's funny. So, yeah, that, that whole, that guy who collected all that stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Did what you, a sidebar. Jesus did Christ. You know, did you know him? Do you, do you know him, the guy that? Tom Kershaw? No. Oh, the guy. The guy the, yeah, the guy he's been on the show. Auction. Yeah, I know the, the guy, guy who owns the whole the thing. Yes. What's so, the estimate on the Cheers bar out of curiosity? 100 grand. 100 grand is the reserve for the larger pieces. But that seems reasonable. Yes, but I don't think it'll go for that. Also, it is only the bar. It's not all the walls and all the other but stuff. But you just get the bar for 100. You get the bar. And that's all that is, that's left in existence from the original set. And a friend of ours from Breakfast Club, her dad is the production designer who designed the whole fucking what? thing. That's why really? I had the intimate knowledge. Oh, you have the inside oh, baseball. And, and she was a baby. Whenever there was a baby on the set, it was her. It was our friend <laughs> Alex. Because the dad was the production designer and the mom was an extra on all the shows. One day we were watching it, we're like, "That looks exactly like Alex." And I sent the picture to our friend, and we're like, "Yep, that's me. That's my mom." Well, they got a no bunch way. Of cool stuff. It's a heritage auction. Heritage in auctions. Texas. Yep. Yeah, check Texas. that out. It's got uh, yeah. The Archie Bunker thing is really interesting because that's every detail. That's the uh, whole set, all right. of the furniture. That that was interesting. Um, Except for the telephone, because we have that. We have the bunker house telephone. You do, do you really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's in the office. <laughs> oh, that's hot. And no, then, paid for it. It was yeah, actually, it was actually legitimately. This, this may be a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> and which Letterman set is that then? The one that and replaced last this. NBC. No, it was before this. It was the last NBC. This is the first CBS. Uh, okay, because that's that looks like it's fairly complete. It is. Yeah, that, yeah. That's I whole... mean, it, a lot of it is missing. Those are the chairs from it. This is the microphone from it. So those, if you read the description, are all replicas in the in the auction. Uh, but it is the desk and it is the buildings. Hmm. That's all legit. That's very cool. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be because it it's, is of an age now. All that stuff. And it's already whether... aged out. I think Johnny's dead. Dave's retired many, many years. Yeah. While he's still relevant, I don't know if his first show is. And the right. stuff from the fifties and sixties that that he's got, it's like, oh, what do you do with that? I like mean, Lost in Space and all that. And stuff. the F Troop stuff and all. <laughs> yeah, <of> yeah. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> It's, it's, I went if you it played the F Troop song right yeah. now and asked somebody to identify it, I, you and I would be the only ones to do it. A hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's good pop. It's good pop culture stuff. But so the deal is he, a dollar short. I don't know. He always wanted to open up a museum, mm-hmm. and that was the intent. He got a lot of this stuff donated to him because the intent was to eventually open up a TV entertainment museum, and it just proved too difficult over a lifelong of collecting all this shit. And uh, he had things in warehouses around L.A. And recently, one of the warehouses is going to whatever. He's, he's losing that warehouse. So it became, do I find another home for all of this shit? Or, just or is it time? Time to liquidate. And then it, I think the decision was just made ultimately that it was time. You know? But even Archie Bunker, I grew up <coughs> watching that. But that's, I mean, that's some dated stuff. I mean. 70s and 60s and 70s? 60s and At least 70s. the 70s. Yeah. yeah. And so this is almost a thousand lots. Wow. And, 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 and this is not his whole collection. This is only oh, the really? big stuff. He's hanging on to all the smalls. Oh, he no. still has the Velcro suit. He's got Karnak's hat. He's got all of that stuff. Oh. <laughs> and he's keeping all that because it's more manageable. It's just wardrobe and props and stuff. Hmm. It's more manageable than needing to set storage. And, you know, where do we keep these? Those well, buildings are 10 feet tall <laughs> in that letter. Yeah, at set. some point, though. I mean, when do you, when is the, the, there's a fine line between a collector and a hoarder and somebody that's got a plan, and if the, the plan didn't come together, well, you do what you want with your stuff, but I get it. I yeah, mean, the, the Internet's going, up, going crazy about that because of all of the opinions of, of that. 
Of yeah. Like, yeah, you, you got this stuff under a certain intent and then it didn't work out, but now you're selling no, this yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just So who are you a, donating the money to? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know that he needs to do I think he tried and it didn't work out. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it, but I, 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 it's fun to watch other people tell you how they feel. Losing their mind over something? Their mind over. Shocking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Opinions? What? <laughs> Yeah, everyone's like, oh, somebody needs to send a cease and desist. I'm like, Jesus oh, Christ, somebody needs off. to mind their own business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fish Bernadette off. from the Bernadette blog. Long, strong letter to follow. The pajamas. <laughs> you know, strong letter. <laughs> you know, and it's just, just it, though. I mean, I love the keyboard warriors. I mean, we call them pajama people. Pajama people? Yeah, because they're at home writing yeah. in their pajamas. They're not out. Do- they're not in the sunshine. They're not living a real life generally. They're just angry. Do you remember home. the South Park episode yeah. where Stan's dad is like, he's doing the food stuff. He's like leaving the food critiques. I, you know, I'm not sure what it is, but he's like living. He must like leave an opinion on what's the what's the. Oh, thing? I thought you were going to go with the South Park of when the kids were trying to get through a certain section of a game, and they all ended up getting heavier and fatter. Oh yeah, and they're they, all they sitting just kept, you know, like <laughs> in somebody's basement. That's great. Yeah. Steven Seltzer's his best friends. Well, that can't be good. About <laughs> his Steven good. Seltzer is amazing. Wade is the man. He agrees. And then somebody here Steven's said, go Lakers, which is interesting because I came up with a new fr- catchphrase the other day. And we were going to try it on the show. What's that? Laker Nation, baby. <laughs> uh, Laker. What do you think? Baseball. Is oh, I was trying to throw a football. <laughs> Oh, okay. Laker Nation. Here, I'll do it one more time. Is that your sports ball? Laker Nation, baby. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I don't know sports. Sports yeah. ball. I know that's wrong. Sports know, ball. Wrong. Well, it was. I, I got it wrong, which is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you thought it was baseball. That's hey, excellent. What happened? Let me turn around on the interview you for a second. Let's do it. What happened to your drives on Friday? Is the road wiped for how long? Is it? When well, we're can, still doing it, but we meet up uh, another place up in yeah, the so forest. Yeah, so can you go meantime. back to the original drive? When the road is fixed and is, the so hole is repaired and the slide is gone, and once the road can be seen again and is in existence, yeah. is and, and and then further up, it's still buried in snow. T- today, it's still buried in snow. Dude, there was twelve feet of snow at Mount Waterman. Twelve feet, and Holy. it got more further up. <laughs> Holy moly! No there was rush. Newcombs was buried. <laughs> you guys, there's no. no I mean, rush. like you couldn't see it. The pictures we uh, posted where you could just, it, the snow was up to the gutter line, right. and then you could see the snow on the roof. That was before another 18 inches or so fell. So eventually wow. you couldn't even see Newcombs. And this kid from the Christian camp snowshoed all the way down to Chileo so he could feed Karina's cats. Wow. And he was the one that took those pictures. Holy moly. It was an it was it was one of those biblical type of so storms. Every, once every fifty years kind of thing. Yeah, we got a foot of rain down here in the flats. I was that's, here. That's a that's an inch of, or a foot of rain each inch up there. Yeah, no, I, w- I was here when it snowed and that's oh. when it hailed and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. That was the lit weekend. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like end of days. Mm-hmm. F- last four trips out here, it's rained every time. I'm like, this is nuts. This it's rained today. Sense. Yeah. What the hell? Yes, it did. Last night, it was a huge thunder boomer. I felt like I was back in North Carolina. Did you like, wake up from that? That I was crazy. That. Yeah. Shaking the house. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, so it's going to be a while for the GV. No, we're still doing it every week. I know, but back to your original spot. How's the new How's the new uh, drive? It's fine. Everything's the same. It's all, it's all still up there. It's not like it's somewhere else completely. Oh, okay. It's all still up in yeah, Angeles I, Forest. It's just a different road, a different place. Um, <clears throat> but we found that a couple years ago when it was, there was a fire and it was closed for months and months. So oh, we, it's, okay. So it, you it, guys it, have punted really well. Yeah. Okay. When it was first just snow and it looked like, oh, we've got to wait for the snow to melt, we started doing it around town at some of the places mm. around town, like uh, Haggerty Garage and Social was hosting us a oh, few nice. times. Actually, most of the times. And um, an auto kennel, you know, and we just kind of stayed in the flats because we couldn't get up there. Paul's but great. once we could get back up there, once the other roads were open mm-hmm. um, and it was just just the one shot, it was like, well, let, let's go. And the other place is really cool. It's just a little different. Gotcha. And it's, at it? the, it's truly at the peak. So you you you're at the highest point. So like the road goes down this way, the road goes down that way. It's really kind of cool. There's no big parking lot up there like there is at Newcombs, but there's enough space. There's lots of, there's several parking lots. It's a, it's a picnic area. Oh, Oh, that's cool. It's um, it's like a, like a hiking area. And and there's bathrooms, which we don't have at Newcombs right now and Hmm. haven't had for three years at Newcombs since COVID. I wish I had the the latitude to do that tomorrow morning. I mean, I'm going to be back on a plane. Oh. So I would love to next time out here, enjoy a Friday drive with you guys. Please. So, it seems like there's always people from out of town. Oh, screw. It. Maybe I'll tell Joey. We'll, 
Let's skip those springs. Let's drive it up there. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> we'll just bring the car out on the street. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> throw a somebody, plate on it. Have somebody follow you real close. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> you, so you, you throw a plate on it, you're fine. Throw a plate. It'll be fine. Does it have? It doesn't have any signal lights or anything. I uh, know. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> just my arm out the window. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to understand all this, which is wonderful. The thing about GVBC is it's not really a real thing. So yeah. it's very, very fluid. It, there's no organization to it, so you don't have to shift gears. It's like we post on Friday, a Thursday night where we're going to be, and uh, people that's show cool. up. That's cool. It's very, very pop up, and always has been because it's not a fucking thing. It's not, yeah, it, it's not in stone anywhere. Yeah, yeah. and it's not it's a group fluid. drive. It's not a. It's not a. It's really not a thing. It's just a bunch of people who. It's an experience. Yeah, a bunch of individuals who just kind of click together once a week. That's cool. You, I mean, yeah. you've got the same shit down there in the country, right? Oh yeah. Let's go have a beer. <laughs> that's, that's our idea. That's our idea for breakfast club. Oh, yeah, donut. breakfast. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't. So we don't have morning beer. Really, don't. It's too, it's too dense in New England, or certainly around Boston to do it. And there's not. There's the occasional organized drive, but it's occasional and it's more highway related. And it's it, there's nothing like it near me. Mm. So coming out here to go in that direction. The handful of times I've done it, it's a blast. It's a treat. You still get to do half of it. You just kind of turn off one way, and then you get yeah. to do some other cool roads. So you would you would still enjoy it if you come out. And again. I miss Bills. I mean, in Malibu, the other side of the world, you mm. know, going up into the canyons there, and then ending up down at Bills. It's some but great drives. It threatens to reopen, so I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that that's still the case. The good news is the roads are all still there, and we found plenty of there's plenty of places to go in Malibu. Mm. In fact, the good vibes place that we go is like. It's all, I, I almost don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want it to blow up. But Shh. yeah, we just go and we park the cars yeah. in the back so it doesn't draw attention, and we sit there all day. It's so fun. People come and go. It's great. We sit right by the fountain up front, and they're so nice there. Their whole thing is good vibes, only good vibes. Yeah, that's that was cool. not the case at Bills. Mm. It got funky there on the I mean, when they, when it became a thing during COVID. It got funky. I think it became overwhelming for Bill, and he was just too too busy dealing with other things yeah it became the not be fun the first time i did it was 2013 2013 is when we started going there no because my son was 10 ray milo was still alive i'm dating it oh seven Ah. i first started going there so and it was three or four or five guys get together go up into the canyons come down hit sit out on the porch hang and it was fine yeah and then yeah no i think how it exploded and it became a newspaper thing. I mean, once it became a Malibu police are wondering how to shut it down. I mean, come on, really? Yeah. And did, actively trying. Yeah. And that, 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 became, that became silly. But further up, uh, Paradise Cove still happens once a month. And that's, uh, I guess. I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> oh, oh, were you persona? Or where that is or when it is. You don't, uh, you're not on the, the secret handshake list of that? I am, uh, but we're not uh, supposed to talk about it. I know that. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, no. <laughs> skirt, skirt. <laughs> I meant Paradise Cove in Utah. That's the one. For, that, that was it. Uh, hilarious. Right before that blows up. Hmm. I did once accidentally, and uh, not accidentally, I did it on purpose, but I forgot, and I tagged the location, and I got... Oh, I oh, bet you got... I got a, hey, could you please, uh, you know, because this is a private thing, and we don't want to blow it up. Like, well, how private <laughs> yeah, is Yeah, no, that was my fault. I know, that was my fault. Hundreds of people on the email list. Somebody's going to say something at some point, but yeah. Yeah, but it, it was, everybody else was, you know, whatever. I yeah. learned my lesson early on. You know, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I think uh, the dad might have still been alive. Andy might have still oh, been alive right. at that point. So it was a while ago. So following the bouncing ball now, I'll just bring up. And it's not every month anymore, too. He which kind of keeps people on their toes, which is nice because sometimes people will go show up and it's not there, like because they're not on the list. <laughs> Fascinating, not to go down, you know, a thirty-second rabbit hole about the trailers and how expensive they are. The Wall Street Journal just did an article two Fridays ago on real estate, and some of those lots. Like the cheapest one is over a million dollars, and they've sold for as much as seven. Oh my God! It's mine. Paradise Cove mine to be there, and it was originally like this hippie kind of place, and then they mentioned you originally went to be a place to leave us alone. Right, yeah, just exactly. go out there so everybody leaves us alone. Yeah. and then they mentioned McConaughey 
a mini driver, somebody Minnie else. Mini lives there, yeah. Yeah, and having their a McConaughey place has a place there? I didn't know he that. He did. I think he did. I think she might have sold hers as well. Jack Nicholson's Shh. daughter. There's a bunch of people that have made a thing out of it. Minnie, I think, might still live there because she made a thing about selling everything she owns and then moving into the trailer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, oh, really? It was, like a, it was like a thing. She just sort of had this, you know, this thought and then acted on it. Oh, huh. God bless her. Minnie. Mm-hmm. And the places are all supposed to have wheels to be movable. And some of them are permanent structures. And the way to get around it is they're attaching like faux wheel bases to them in case anybody comes along. Oh, we can move it. See all the wheels. <laughs> so. But they're just leaned up against the side. Yeah, that's great. Hmm. Anyway, I thought it was crazy because I thought it's lovely here, but it's not $7 million lovely for. No, it's not a million dollars lovely. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's California pricing. Yeah, good yeah. luck. I mean, yeah. what makes sense out here? What makes sense? Yeah, not, take anything from here, put it anywhere else. Sweet FA, yeah, is the English say. Nothing. Zero. And yeah. Zilch, Le- sir. <laughs> Zilch. <laughs> Nutmeg. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, he's What's the no, safe doing word? That. What's the <laughs> safe word? Piggly wiggly. Piggly wiggly. Uh, hey, Mike, how's it going up in Canada? You have anything for these two knuckleheads? These Porsche nuts? Oh, absolutely, I do. Um, I have. I'm. I'm fascinated to know uh, because we're all enthusiasts of the pop culture here. It's very clear. Uh, I want to know from Steve and from Cam, off the top of your head, right now in this very moment, favorite <laughs> movie vehicle and favorite television vehicle. Ooh, favorite movie vehicle and television vehicle. That's rough. Mm. Well, I mean, not to be trite, but having been an Aston Martin dealer, and the DB5 probably got me into being a car dealer um that's easy for me i mean it's yeah aston martin db5 james bond car chassis number i forget at the moment um oh that's very there we go oh yeah yeah, yeah, that hurt my neck yeah my bad the least movable neck ever um (laughs) and tv vehicle i may go again corgi toy related um the green hornets car so I'm going, I mean, I'm really dating myself with Cato and the Green Hornet and early Bruce Lee career. Uh, I, and I don't know if I can, do I need to amend that? I don't think so. I mean, I'm not going Black Starsky Beauty. and Hutch or anything from that era or um, the Rebels car from... 550 Spider from James No, Dean. no, no, no. Um, this is TV he's talking about. TV. Oh, TV. Um, the Confederate flag on the road. Oh, General Lee. Oh, General Lee, yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm happy with my two choices. Cam, what do you got? So it's a movie, then a TV show? Yeah. Hmm. It, it, that kind of cult classic, uh, King of the Hill, with Dennis Hopper, and what's the guy with the great hair? Uh, and he's married to Lisa Renna. Yeah, um, what's his name? I'm Harry Hamlin. Harry, Harry Hamlin. Hamlin, good job. Yes, yeah. Clash of the Titans, he's great in that. Um, <laughs> That's not a car. No, I know, but it's just weird. yeah. Well, he's great in Clash of the Titans. <laughs> but he's got the three fifty six. It's a three fifty six speedster. Right? Yeah, it's like widened. And yeah, it's beaten. widened with the big wheels, the big flares. So that's a great. And Dennis Hopper's driving that like that Corvette split window Corvette with the windows blown what out. What movie is that? The, it's King of the Hill, yeah. and it's got some King. of the best driving scenes. It's Mel Holland, Mel Holland, yeah. and it's awesome. And some of the best driving in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, people I, always I, talk about that I, other Trump one, Trump Charlie Sheen, and, and Dennis Hopper's like this mechanic, and he's like from Nam, oh. and he's like got mental issues. Yeah, he's mental issues, and he's, he's, got, he's got like a Firebird or something. Oh, it's, right? yeah, no, it's a Corvette. Corvette. Yeah, Corvette, right. yeah, yeah, and it's all it's all built for the hill as well. And he's like this great scene at the end of the hill. He wants Harry Hamlin to like because he's the king of the mountain. And Harry's like the up and coming guy, you know, and he's like racing him down the hill. And he's like, "Stand on it, kid! Stand on it!" Wow, oh, I, I completely missed this. Oh, missed. what? Yeah, sorry. Pe- people Definitely. always talk about the Charlie Sheen and the kid from the ice skating one, DB Sweeney. What's that one? Uh, yeah. No, No Man's Land. Yeah. yeah. And the some, driving is atrocious in that. The nine eleven that they're in. Yeah, they're always yeah. stealing nine elevens. But this other movie actually has good, like they're actually really driving in the canyons. It's yeah. not just no, kind it's of like legit driving scenes. The, yeah, the wheel back. And it's forth. like the first Fast and Furious, if you will. That's interesting. I'll go with that. Yeah, it's like, so, and it was actual real LA culture, which, uh, really culture. which that movie created here. It was never Correct. like that here until yeah. the movie <laughs> yeah. with all that decals and yeah. the fucking yeah. carbon yeah. hoods and all that. All that, that yeah. wasn't here. And what's the TV car then? Hmm. Oh, it, it, easy. Knight Rider. I mean, geez. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I was Knight like Rider's so fascinated by Knight Rider as a kid. I was like, one day my car will talk to me. Like, 
<laughs> we will have philosophical discussions. <laughs> he will get my jokes. But, yes, he will. <laughs> Don't do it, Cameron. <laughs> yeah. The odds yeah. of success are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, buddy. The Hold Hoff. on, buddy. Yeah. The the Hoff. Hoff. Don't hassle the Hoff. Yeah, I got. I have to agree with that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's well, I dated we're... myself with the Green Hornets car because that's a George Barris thing as well. It's not really a car. Mm. No, uh, I'm with you there. I mean, but I'm glad you didn't. Nobody said Batmobile and nobody no. said Starsky and Hutch. Those are all just kind of like the go tos. Yeah, and I'd go with. Um, uh, as a backup, either of the Persuader cars, the DBS or the Dino. I mean, from uh, Roger Moore and Tony Curtis. Mm-hmm. So, what else you got, Mike? You you mentioned uh, uh, Paradise Cove before too, though. It makes yeah. me think of Jim Rockford, and he had the, oh, the Firebird, right. yeah. the, the Firebird. gold Firebird. Yeah, yeah. that was kind of cool back then. Rockford Files. Oh, Rockford, that? Rockford Files. Of course, was a solid show. That was a great show. Solid show. Well, it's Jim Garner, James Garner. Yeah. Fuck. Grand Prix, one of the show, like I, the I good was, one. It's a great one. The original one, James Garner. It's awesome. Great one. He was also in The Great Escape. Yes. And he was. He Is was he? The, yeah, he's The Great Escape. Yeah. He's the he's the one that takes the blind guy with him in the in the in the glider. No way. Yeah, that's James he's Garner. He's so young. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it he's had to be young. one of his first it's gotta big be before roles. The, not the gambler. The other guy he was. Whatever the fucking. Remember when he was the Western? Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, not oh, the shoot. gambler. Gambler's Kenny Rogers. <laughs> the other yeah. One. Uh, Gambit. Gam- Gam- no, not Gam- Gambit either. No. Shit. You know who I mean. I, I do. do. I'm trying to think. Yeah, of big, a big fan. I mean, of Garner. I mean, he was the guy uh, all the way through. It was the last movie he made, probably The Notebook. I don't know. He played the yeah, he was oh, the that's dad. right. Or a not tear the dad, jerk. but he was oh, the that's older. That's a tearjerker. He was Ryan Reynolds, older. Ryan, whatever, older. Gosling, old. That's always Gosling, my. Reynolds, that's always Gosling. my litany test. If I really like a girl, I'll watch The Notebook with her. Oh, oh man, God, reach over and like hold her hand like this and be like, I saw it coming the first time. I'm serious. That's like that's how you get him. Oh God. Notebook. That's what you got to do to get somebody's pants off and get some correct. Really, hundred percent notebook. I can't stand Titanic. It's an hour longer, and I'd rather oh. watch Titanic. What? <laughs> <laughs> King of the world. Look at a thing for Kate Winslet. She could be in top ten. Uh, really? Oh yeah. Oh, draw me like one. Yeah. <laughs> teach me how to spit. <laughs> uh, I do love all the Titanic. Spit like a man. <laughs> I love all the Titanic memes of like the raft and like <laughs> you got him on that one. My brain is just gone. Spit it's like a man. Such a filthy place. <laughs> I think it's dangerous to have this on the show any longer because we're so tired. I'm like, it's getting off the rails. It's like, oh, I know what he's talking about, and I'm just imagining something completely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, inappropriate. Yes, inappropriate. Inappropriate now. Started. Um, Love I was going to I was going to have a follow up with that cuz we're, we're all talking the about TV cars. Uh shit. Anyway. I loved Herbie the Love Boat. Somebody on the Instagram just day said day. Uh, love the green movie, I car. Might go Herbie Love Boat. Oh, hang oh, on. Sorry. Oh, what, buddy? Somebody on the Instagram just said uh, love the green hornet's car. What about the Saints P1800? The yeah, I P1800 agree with that. was P1800. in my brain with Roger Moore as well. Right. I agree Early with that. Early P- P1800. Had that as a corgi, too. Mm-hmm. What did you think when they redid the movie The oh, Saint and then sake, they had things the, alone. V, the, was it the C70? Yeah, yeah no. It's just there's, there's certain sacrilege. There was so many. I like that movie. For a decade. Really? Sure, I'll do it. You can't make you cannot make Michael Caine movies over. You can't make all of that. Roger uh, Moore I don't know, that. man. I think the uh, the original Italian Job is a rough watch. Yeah, <laughs> and and I and, and I like words, it because right, I, I'll give you we got to get to the mini chase. Yeah. But then once we get to the mini chase, the moment that's over, it gets weird again. And then they start singing the song on the bus. And yeah, the uh, that is like, that is yeah, happened? but that's such a period thing. Yeah, I guess Bridger, Mister Mister Bridger. Yeah, Bridger and and uh, Kane, but with the DB4 thought, convertible. So you didn't where like he's the, got the money under the airbox? Yeah, and I like DB4 that. I like that's, that. That's cool. And the bulldozers knocking the Ferrari off the cliff. And the everything. Mura that was, was cool. supposed to be a Mura. Oh, it was a Lambo. That's and right. And it, it was actually a Lancia, which gets which it was a gets kit car. Yeah, it gets booted. Um, they used that was a, p- p- brutal. Yeah, <laughs> see, I didn't see that movie when I was young, so I saw it like kind of somewhat <laughs> recently. We saw it together. And I was like, Jesus Christ, they just killed that guy. <laughs> he just yeah. fucking killed that guy. I I remember, remember, one of the things brutal. that got me into being a car guy was when I was a kid and I f- first watched Mad Max. And you're like, this, oh. this weird dystopian future, right? Was it the first one? But the very first one, right? I love that. And then like th- that whole scene when he engages the supercharger and it makes that whine. Mm-hmm. I was like, 
I don't even know what's happening, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yep. You're getting emotional. Oh, I was. You had yeah. movement. No, I did have yeah, movement. You did. I was like, this <laughs> you is amazing. Had, you like, had a little excitement. I would, yeah. The, the, what was weird for me on that one was it was like really, really graphic. Yeah. 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 And I think it might have been like the most graphic movie I'd seen like that at that point. That's what I mean. So like, it yeah. sticks with you. Yeah, it is sticks that what you with mean? you. Like imprinted? Yeah, because it was so surreal. It's such an. It's like Clockwork Orange. Right, right. It's a very surreal thing when you're a kid to watch that movie, and you're like, "This is very just." You don't even know what dystopia is, is it and you're George like, "George Romero, who did that one?" Yeah, I think it, uh, so. The, the way he, I think I might have that wrong. Is that right? No. Whoever it is, he's got. I the, don't think he was that big. I don't think he did. No, I think that I got successful. the wrong one. Yeah. But, but the but, second one with Lord Humongous is great. Well, but whatever they did in the first one, whenever there was something that was going to be really violent, he would put a crazy frame of like, yeah, you know, that's something right. yeah. in there that would really be jarring. Yeah. And it would. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. And all the crashing. Yeah, yeah all the crashing. Whatever that was, it still yeah. sticks with me to this that's day. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that because that is very. Because it was scary as hell. It was like it was oh like God. the dick in Fight Club. You know, it puts the big, <laughs> the big. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they just put one frame in there, and you're like, did, did, did I that just see? A, I don't know if I. <laughs> that was a big penis that was just on the screen. Uh, I'll give you. I will give you. I do enjoy the new, the newer Italian job, even with Wahlberg in it. He's from don't, Massachusetts. Don't, you yeah. guys support her? What? what? Oh, wow. Oh, Marky yeah. Mark? No. I'm always Too much surprised. history there. Oh, too, way you, too much. You history. and the family? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Too, way too much. You and the Wahlbergers? Yeah. Wahlbergers. Spent a, a, a lifetime one after one day with Donnie in a Lotus. Donnie. Es- you did? Donnie, goddamn oh, yeah. Wahlberger. Did you sell him the car? No, because he was... He, he, Do she about Couldn't it? afford it? It was the second New Kids on the Block comeback tour. Ooh. And, uh, that so would have been so great. The I first would have one loved. didn't take. Yeah. So I, <laughs> the stories, if I, you know, I, I, what was the phrase he used to say? <laughs> I gotta have my sex, is what oh. I think he said. That's how he referred to it. Was that before he saw Dead People? I that, would have been, that would have been way before. <laughs> that was way before. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, a little too much. The Wahlberg thing Hanging in, in tough, Boston bro. is it's, like, it's like you're either a Kennedy yeah. fan or you're not, yeah. and I'm not. So it's that, that's that whole cultural shift of. You're from New up England there and not bullshit. a Kennedy fan. Hmm? You're from up there and not a Kennedy fan. Yeah, I wow. was. I was glad when they all got back together in heaven when all three brothers finally got there. <laughs> so, wow! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> wow! Holy crap! Hi! Oh yeah! Wow. No, if if you really get into the deep Chappaquiddick murdering fuck that Ted Kennedy was. Oh, I yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I was it, living there too yeah. at the time. Yes, I'm comfortable now. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, so, <laughs> It's crazy. They made a movie, right? Did you see the movie? I, I never watched it. Uh, it was okay. I felt like if, it was going to be so whitewashed that... No, it wasn't whitewashed, and it was pretty accurate. I mean, oh. the gas station at the end of our street in the vineyard is the gas station where they took his car from out of the... Right, when they... Uh, out, out of the Dyke Bridge something. when it went yeah, over yeah. the side in Chappaquiddick. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of bit of history there. I just don't... I don't buy into You're that. on a sense of and, topic. And I'm still thinking it's about a very Wahlberg sense. when he almost blinded a... a you know, a Taiwanese or no, a Vietnamese guy when that whole racial incident when he was a kid that he likes to go, oh, yeah, I've now repented and I'm a good Christian. No, you almost killed a guy. Really? You almost took it. You know, did you know about that about him? No, but I do know that the thing about Boston is it's a racist San Francisco. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just it, like San Francisco, only really racist. It's totally. He, he, <laughs> I don't think it is anymore, but when I was a kid, it was pretty racist. Up there. I think it's pretty He likes it's, just it's going, yeah, I, I made my amends. You know, okay. No, you didn't. You almost killed this guy because you're a punk shithead little kid until your brother put you in a band. You know, anyway. Oh, he was really young before even New Kids on the Block. Oh, yeah. This was, he was 15 or 16. He did the whole juvie thing, did some time for it. Did the oh, whole, wow. I had no idea there was yeah. so much darkness behind yeah. the New Kids on the Block. <laughs> they seemed like they were the new kids. Are you writing no, a No, no, this is, this is Mark, not, not <laughs> oh, Donnie. Oh. Oh, 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 I see. Okay. Are you uh, writing a documentary or something? Are you seeing really? I see Jordan Knight all the time still. He's a Milton guy. I is mean, he really? Yeah. He's a Milton guy? He's a Milton guy. Oh, now. my yeah. God. Love it. Owns a restaurant in town. Speak. Boy, talk about the la- <laughs> rabbit hole. I'll I, go one I did for- like the movie. Charlize <laughs> Theron, all the people that were in it. I mean, I- it's a little long, and it could have used an edit, I, I think, but I like the stuff that's in there. D- Most Def, I think, is hilarious. He's so funny. Most Def is very good. Yeah. And, uh, and the other stuff was good. And she did her own driving. In but that. I do think some of the scenes where the minis are like launching and. Loved it. Come on. Can't have enough mini. It made no, us want to buy No, but you know, when they're jumping down six stairs and they're still sword. fine. And, you know, come on, guys. Well, the original movie, too, though, with Remy Julien as the stunt driver there was. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was pretty cool stuff. Yes. But I, I was thinking of who did the Michael Caine remake? English actor. Uh, my wife says he's got that doughy upper lip. He's, uh, upper lip. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's get your wife on. He That's also nice. he also did, Amanda. He also, <laughs> he also <laughs> did. Uh, oh, he's very famous. He was in. Um, uh, we were just saying. I wonder if this holds up. A hmm. movie in Italy. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, actor who passed away a drug overdose was oh yeah Philip Seymour Hoffman and talented Mr. Ripley Ripley so who plays who plays Jude Law wow Jude Law yeah Jude Law did a remake of a Michael Caine movie that should have never been touched it was like a real 60s is it a car movie car based movie no it's not car based we've lost the whole fucking (laughs) is there anyone is anyone still on watching this (laughs) actually yes we've got a question here go for it Mike Ask Serio to tell the story about Feminod. Oh, who who sent that in? Uh, let's who's, see who who's got inside here. baseball here. Our, our winner is uh, Steve-O 508. Steve-O 508. Yeah, it's, it's, I think Steve Olford, uh, my old um, service manager. So Feminod is, if you see little stickers, and what's funny is an old Aston Martin of mine, a 1984 Vantage, is for sale in Switzerland right now, and the Feminod sticker is still on the the side window on the driver's side. Driving across the country in 1998, um, we came across a broken Alpha Duetto out of, out of the Bonneville Salt Flats, and one of the guys who was then the North American uh, rep for Lotus, he, he was in charge of the whole country, it was a very great mechanic. Looks under the car, sees the donut. The guibo's just in the drive shaft. It's like this. He literally rolls up from under the car and he goes, fuck it, Mickey, it's not our dog. Let's keep going. He <laughs> said, what did you just say? And he said, fuck it, Mickey, it's not our dog. Let's keep going. This is also the guy who said, here's to, uh, he'd make a toast and he'd say, here's to never seeing the back of your own neck. So you had to think about that for a second. Anyway, um, so we needed a group, a name for our group. And it became Feminod. So the license plate. I guess Magnus the, wasn't here that day. Yeah. I have two license plates on <laughs> there speedsters. You go. Uh, one says Feminod, the other one says Dillagaff. And you know Dillagaff. Sure. Doesn't yeah. everybody? Yeah. You know, when you take your glasses off, you do look like Craig Ferguson. <laughs> True. I love watching his old clips. Yeah, he was good. And he the was things, really good. The stuff that show. he got yeah. away with with actresses, you could never. I mean, oh, he was so, all he was of the so, the sexy flirting stuff, you oh could my, never do today. My God, no oh, way. Or when they would have the female had. executive come on in the yeah. short uh, skirt and the boobs and everything, you could never do any of that I mean, anymore. You just leer it, fill in the actress's name, and funny. I think the, one of the funniest clips ever is. Um, when he had Robin Williams on back-to-back shows or something, back-to-back weeks. Mm-hmm. If you're ever in a bad mood, just watch that. On. So that's feminine. That's, that's our group. It's fuck it, Mickey. It's not our dog. And people are like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, it does. We, there's nothing we can do here is what it means. Yeah. So It's out of our control. Keep it moving. Mike, I got the answer. Long-winded. Outstanding. Thank you very that. much. I, I, hey, I got a personal one here. Um, okay. Is it true that a James Bond movie uh, featured a Toyota? Yes. You only live twice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Twice. Um, Toyota 2000 go. convertible prototype car. I think owned t- uh, not permanently. I think it was owned for a long time, though, by the Toyota 2000 collectors in Maine. Uh, Bob Tachik, and I forget his partner's name. The actual one from the movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. I think they had the actual car. Super cool. Yeah. That was a cool car. It was a cool car. I like some of the not fancy cars. The AMC, um, the, is it a javelin? It's Man with the javelin. golden gun. The red one with the uh, with like the the. Ba- it was at the Peterson during that thing. It was the. It was a matador. Matador, maybe. Yeah. Is it a matador? It is that could the have one? been a matador. It was, a, it was a little sedan, little two door sedan. Oh a little no, coupe thing. that was the same car Magnus owned. Yes, yes, Magnus had one. He too. had one. It does the. In Bangkok, does the rollover on the bridge with the sheriff in the back seat? Oh, the AMC, you guys the, AMC. the uh, AMC, but it's not a javelin. No, is it? it's not. It's not a javelin. It's not a matador. It's smaller than that. It is yeah. smaller than a matador. Yeah, whatever that one is. The I AMC like that one. tie-ins. Back but it, but these were small, like inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Not an Aston Martin. Not a right. Sunbeam Tiger. You only live twice. That's when they're in the fake volcano and yeah. they're launching. Yeah, I love that one. It's funny how uh, uh, most people don't know the first James Bond wasn't an Aston Martin. I, I, I would have thought. It's a Bentley. I thought it was a Sunbeam fir- Tiger. 
In oh, in the book, in incidentally. The book, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Sunbeam Christ. Tiger and Doctor No. In Doctor No, he's driving yeah, a tiger. Yeah, yep. and so I love the, that shit up the mountain with and the bad uh, oh. projected. Bad projection, bad fucking <laughs> <laughs> toupee. Yeah. Fucking Guys, come on now. Do we have to go there? Seriously. <laughs> You're not wearing a bad toupee. Well, I'm thinking about getting one. Oh, okay, a bad toupee. Yeah, like when, <laughs> we like, could set you up with Murray down if on I Hollywood could have Boulevard. Some Jay hair, just like <laughs> Murray's wigs. <laughs> when we get the glue on stuff. <laughs> the glue Jumps on yeah. in the yes. pool. Yeah. What's <laughs> that? You remember? Yeah. What what's movie is that? It's, it's, is it Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Yeah. yeah. Murray's wigs. <laughs> Look. But there's some famous wig place on Hollywood Boulevard that is like, there really that, still? That, that's not, well, who knows, yeah. still who knows? Oh, but, yeah. but back in the day, do you ever get down there for any reason? Do you ever go into that part of L.A.? Only if we're going to the Peterson, and then we're going to the Peterson, right? And we wouldn't. I mean, there's just. I mean, life's hard anyway. But like, we used to be at we used to have to work there all the time. Oh, Premieres yes. at the Grauman's Theater and, oh, and wow. the Chinese Theater and the Egyptian Theater and all of those goddamn theaters. So there's yeah that novelty. She did is so well many premieres on those there. red carpets. I mean, thousands. Wow. 15 years worth, whatever that is. And 40 That's weeks cool, a year, huh? you were on the... Yeah, I mean, just... I can't even fathom. When we when we moved to this place like six years ago, there was a box of lan- lanyards and, you know... Oh, uh, yeah. What do you call them? Uh, credentials yeah. and laminates. I don't know. There had to be like 500 in, the, in this box. And we were like, what are you going to do? At what point do you call it a day on like, are you going to go through them all? This you chapter of your life. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up throwing them out. With a bunch of other stuff at our place. Somebody totally fucking found them. I was like, well, you're going to want these. And found her, looked her up online, sent her a message. It was a whole thing. We had to oh, go really? meet him at a subway and fucking get the thing back just so we could go throw them out somewhere else. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> How Jeez. interesting. Did you have a favorite premiere out of all the things you did? Is one worry, stick out? Do, no. It was just work. So yes, over and over and over, and it all began about where am I parking now? Where am I going? Yeah, like yeah. what cool theater am I gonna be in? It's like where do I park so I could meet the president for the car? She did so many of them. It was just about logistics and fine tuning the system, <sighs> the, the the buzz and the oh, that that it all worn off. It all worn off. Just working. Yeah, if you're in that industry, there's no. It's, it's so romantic and exciting until you're working in it. It's like the car yeah. biz. Yeah. Well, the car biz, we do it because it's easy and fun. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Anyone can do it. <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So the quality of people that you meet. We were trying to say today, like, <laughs> any customers were, or were, they, were any of them ever easy? And I think the number was about 10%. You, you guys, you just ones? look coming through the door going, oh, thank God he's coming in because he offsets the 90% of you. Does that mean he knows what he wants? Does that mean he just isn't going to nickel and dime you oh, on I all mean, of the rich fees and all the just bullshit? Just a righteous guy. The, oh, like, just like a good a long person. Term, just a, just yeah, a great... just a long-term oh. customer. It's about 10% That's of the... That's a shame. Yeah, it is. Because mm-hmm. you do... You Although do I can't imagine it being higher, come to think of it. I mean, I used to be in the car business for a little bit. And you know, it, it matches the human condition. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> right. It and it's only gotten worse. It's only gotten worse, so it's the same applicable thing. What do you got there, Johnny? What you got? Questions of the day. <laughs> well, no, I, we're I, waiting. I, we, should, we should wrap it up. I what mean, we've talked about everything, act? everything else we could possibly talk about. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just make this announcement. We're going to have to figure out some dates for the end of this month because we are taking another road trip <gasps> that came up out of nowhere very suddenly. Uh, but we will be taking a cross country road trip Whoa. in yellow car. We're going to be going eastbound and down all the way, it? all the way to Florida, Punta oh. Gorda, Florida. Name oh. dropper. Is that Fancy. A, is it? Yeah, no, I have no idea. I know Punta Gorda, but I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so. Um, so we're going to figure out exactly so the dates on that. Today you could drive to Punta Cana. But it'll be interesting. <laughs> Punta Cana. For, <laughs> so today you could drive there. Terrible. Can't do it's, a, it's a different Punta. <clears throat> um, so you say, what do I have? And then I start talking. Yeah. And, you, and then, the, and then the, we we're going to heckle the whole thing? Pretty um, much. We're going to go see my mom. Oh, that's awesome. For the first time in 10 years. We really? haven't seen her. We saw her right before we got married. Is she Because excited? she had to meet Nicole. She uh-huh. didn't have to, but <laughs> we thought it'd be nice. <laughs> and uh, and, and now... It's been 10 years, so... And now it's been 10 fill years. Fill in the blank for fun comments. Yeah. All of the above. And we always said that when our kitty died... Remember when last time you were here, we had that 23, 24-year-old kitty. Oh, yeah, kitty. that's right. Finally went. And now we have uh, freedom to move to, about. Oh, right. yeah. You're, and yeah. flying is out. So how, how long will you take to drive? 
Uh, we're figuring it out, but probably four or five days, five days. Oh, I'm you are really going to cannonball it. You're going to do 600 miles a day. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, we got to get back here, right? Well, eventually. I mean, sure. But I'm planning on four or five days there. Two, lunch. Three, two, three days there. <laughs> four or five days back. back. Mom, great to see you. We got to go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the yeah. time, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> And there's some things we're going to do along the way. We're going to make it a bit of a road trip, and hopefully we'll uh, be able to make some stops, maybe at dealerships along the way, whatever. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure that part out. Right now, we just the, the, the trip became real. Well, you have an open invitation, North Carolina. I was going to say, if you have yeah. no, I was hoping you would get far. north. Well, that, yeah. there's, so that's the next plan. We were, we, the thought was, oh, we'll go down, then we'll go up, then we'll come back. And then we thought, we're not going to be on the road a goddamn month. And then we thought, we'll do the same thing again, maybe, but the north route hit. New York, New England. Mm-hmm. You, you again, open invitation. Yeah. Thanks, man. I hope, I hope you, you can do it. I oh, hope, we, oh, I, I we would will. Love to see you guys there. We will love to it. host you in Boston. Absolutely. We're putting miles on that yellow car now. Like it's the only have. reason to have it. We always have. Yeah. But so you can, that? Can't you do the show on the road? Yeah. yeah so we're going to figure that out. But it won't be this. Obviously, it'll be yeah. like you know an iPhone. But and he, a, whatever people are here for you. They're not here for the show. I mean, they're here for you guys. You can take it on the road. Very nice of you to say. We're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. But so that is to be figured out. But that's happening. It looks like uh, like only like in a week and a half, like maybe two weeks. It's, it's coming up soon. Uh, in the meantime, though, tomorrow is GVBC at Mill Creek Summit, which you guys know about on Angeles Forest Highway. Saturday, we, 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 GVBC, and we, you and me, will be at Porsche Santa Clarita, where we are doing a GVBC takeover at the gigantic monthly Porsche Santa Clarita Go Cars see and Bo Coffee. Bachman and the big crew up there. Exactly. Bo yeah. Bachman is hosting us along oh, with... Oh, that's uh, He's a awesome. great guy. Yeah. I knew him from when I was an Aston dealer, and I knew his dad a little bit. Another, sorry that he passed, great guy. Larger than life, big, huge handshake, like an Otis Chandler kind of guy. Right. Really cool dude. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And Bo's, Bo's a righteous car guy. And, uh, and his, I'm blanking on the name right now, but his cousin, I guess, is the GM there as well. So it's kind of all still, mm-hmm. even though it's not officially Galpin because it has to be Porsche, it's there. It's all still in the family. Everyone, it knows still it's Gal- feels, Everyone knows it's Galpin. So You know what I mean? It still has the feel of we're not going to screw you. We're going to totally take care of you because yeah. we've been here a hundred <laughs> goddamn years. Yeah. We're the biggest Ford dealer in the, in the world. Isn't that, we, we well, just in make, L.A., they've yeah. been, they're so established. But isn't yeah. that a nice novelty in today's car business to actually feel that way? I mean, that's great. <laughs> yeah. I hate that it's a novelty. Yeah, it is. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so all of those things are going on, and stay tuned for more stuff on the uh, the auction items as well, right, Mike? We're going to be following the auction <laughs> and talking about it a lot over the next month. Oh, right, because yeah. that's you. You can bid on it, and then it's live on the last day or something. Uh, something can, like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be like other ones. Like these are all kind of lead up to, and then they'll fire it off one by one on the day. Hmm. At 900 odd lots. Yeah, I mean it's it's big. Mm-hmm. So what's what's your hope for the auction stuff that you're interested in? What do you mean? What if somebody buys it and donates it, like you said? You'll oh, get, you'll, wouldn't that be great? You'll end up with it one way or the other. Well, the good news is that guy up there in Canada wants this desk, and I don't want it once I get the other desk, hypothetically. Yeah. So Just saying. everything is moving around. And I don't. you guys don't know this about us, but um, <laughs> I guess I started it a long time ago. But when we got the, the Letterman desk and chairs and, mm. uh, and some other smalls, um, we started finding out where other things were around the country. In fact, we only found this stuff because we were looking for that shit. Ah. Uh, but with that, we sort of began an, sort of an unofficial registry archive of, of all of the old Letterman assets because very other than the last stuff that all went in that dumpster, a lot of the old shit is still around in people's, look, people's private houses and stuff. This is, this is not us. This is someone else's uh, house. They have the buildings that go behind this desk oh, <laughs> in their <yeah>. living room. <laughs> How about that? So, like, you never know who is going to want things or whatever, but um, the fact that we <sighs> sort of already have the history having begun this work, it does allow a place for us to then receive more stuff. Yeah. And um, what you great. don't know yet is that, like, you know, we've been working to try to get Worldwide Pants' attention for so goddamn long. Well, we finally did and we're now working with them on things behind the scenes that will eventually How cool. play out in other ways so like it's not as far-fetched as someone might seem if you're just glancing at it from from afar no. but if you look at all the details it's like this is actually maybe possible how cool can't explain how or why because we're not going to be bidding on it but the universe has provided far other stranger things how cool well i mean whether it's a change, an upgrade, a sideways move, or whatever, there's you get options. Universe works. In yeah. yeah, and we have a we have there's a we, yeah we have a 
friend with a very nice 300 square foot, a 300,000 square foot fucking warehouse full of like $60 million worth of art. So we could definitely house this thing if need be someplace. Hmm. If it, it's not going to happen be to fall. Do you know what I'm saying? It yeah. says, it's not like we need, oh, we need to move. To, but everything will be fine. No matter what, everything will be Let's fine. Let's co-bid on the uh, Cheers bar together. Ooh. Amanda would love that in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Build a basement bar just oh my for God. the cheers. Set. Um, I would never leave the house. I just like, well, Steve. We'll have to do the stairs walk. We'll have to build another entrance from yes. the outside with the stairs going down and the stained glass window and everything. Right. <laughs> be amazing. Oh my God. Um, you guys are amazing. Did we? Is there anything we need to hit or promote other than Group uh, P? Group P, which is two, three months. When is it? July? When is the? Uh, I'm st- no. The invitations are starting to fly out. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> It ends on June 8th. June 8th. 75th anniversary of June Porsche. 8th. June yeah. 8th. Um, and yeah. Bid, um, okay, it's going to be awesome. fun. When I does it go live? You're still collecting so, pieces. Sometime, we have the pieces, and we're now collecting the video and the pictures and the histories and oh. everything, doing it right. Um, sometime over Memorial Day weekend, it'll, it'll, it'll hit. And that's bring a trailer's decision. Okay. So They're going to spotlight it. Yeah, they're gonna spotlight Ooh. it, which is why we were shooting movie a little, magic. We were shooting a little <laughs> Hi How Are You spotlight video with Magnus today, um, with his after we got lectured <laughs> <laughs> about punctuality. Yeah, well, which I'm a stickler for, but it, we had, it was out of our control today. Yeah, it was out of our control. How about a phone call? How about a phone call, guys? You want to see the text? <laughs> no, I've, I've been on the receiving end. One time I was, but we were driving his cars to the Peterson Auto Museum. Yeah, we, I remember we, that. We did Helping that him thing. move the, everything in for the show. Yes, and you know, that's a stressful thing for him. It's the first time all those cars were running at the same time. It was a whole bunch of shit. And at the last minute, she decided to come. And that took more time. And then it took more energy in the car and more focus. It hold the whole thing. So we, we were like five minutes Late when we got there. Nicole. And No, 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 no. And he was fine, but he had been texting and calling, and I wasn't responding. He's like, oh, we were just about to leave without you. And the, whole, like, the, the whole guilt trip. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The rest of the night will go without a hitch. I promise. I promise. But I get it. Thank it's you for thank you for having us. It's yeah. always great to see you both. Thank you, because we and yeah. I insinuated our... Us on you mm-hmm. via only because I didn't know IG. you were here. Yeah. So please do that every time. But also it thank out you perfectly. for what you do for our community. Yeah, it's big. It's awesome. It's it's another piece of the fabric of the whole cloth here that makes up this weird world that we're in. Yeah. And you guys tie it together. Yeah, yeah. And the the whole you know G V B C uh it's, it's wonderful. Because mm. it gives everybody I'm pissed when I I see these videos and I'm not there and I'm like, yeah. There's another miss another drive and miss another good morning out there. So yeah, because there's a drive. Work. That's what's so fun about <laughs> yeah. it. It's, it's a drive, yeah. and it's you get out of an incredibly congested part of the world that's making you crazy probably, and you end up 15 minutes in the middle of this beautiful stuff out here. That's it. That's that's it's the, the it's the mental. Escape that's the for jealousy sure. of from you know missing it. You know, really is a <laughs> what time do you fly out? Because you're yeah. there. You're over there in Milton. 10:45. So. Yeah. From Burbank or LAX? LAX. Oh, no, not a yeah, chance. No, not a not chance. <laughs> Good luck. It, you wouldn't have done it either way, but it might have been close the other way. Yeah, I've, I've got my car out here, and for the last four trips, it's been sitting in my garage, and it's like one of these times. Does anybody exercise it? What uh, car? Which car? The, one of the Speedster. The, the with femi- the Feminine the license the plate. Feminine, the yeah. Feminine Speedster. Oh, man. Well, let me know when you want us to drive it up the mountain, just to but stretch it out. Just, I mean, gen- gingerly to stretch it out. Yeah, you know, it's... You can drive it as hard as you want. It's done a bunch of rallies. <laughs> 10-4 on that. <laughs> so, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha there. Gotcha, guy. Careful what you wish for. Uh, and that's what's going on. So GVBC tomorrow, Mill Creek Summit. Then Saturday again uh, at Porsche Santa Clarita. We're taking over their Wonderground, the curated, the glass, mm-hmm. the little cool, whatever that is, <laughs> mini museum down underneath. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Putting a bunch of dirty fucking canyon cars in their little pristine you know <laughs> <That's> <laughs> in awesome. climate controlled environment it'll be great everything that's raspberry colored that's in there that he owns that's Bo's favorite stuff that's all <laughs> I think they move I think they move that I think they move that there's a lot of race cars in there now hmm. uh, that they the have some from other people too like Corolla's uh, Paul Newman 996 is in there which is there. cool that's cool to me both the 996 and Paul Newman yeah he's figured it out has he been on the show Paul Did Newman get, no, no not yet no no 
<laughs> talking about Corolla, you schmuck. No, that would be gr- I would love that. Can you help us there? I don't know him. I don't know, I don't him, know him I figured you'd know him. No, we've been over there to talk to some of his people for other stuff on the development side, but uh, never on the podcast side. I don't, like, yeah, we should, though. Yeah, actually, I think you know, we'll work on that. Yeah. Be, <laughs> I'm sure he's Thanks here. for the tip. He can't be far. He's in Glendale, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. He's very busy, though. He's very busy. Divorce is a bitch. <laughs> so this, oh, well, I didn't know that until recently. Away. I didn't yeah, know that until yeah. just the other day that he just recently went through a divorce. But apparently it's very public, so I'm just the only one who doesn't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Steve Serio, Cam Ingram, um, you're the real Bond group That's on it. Instagram. And Portia Malone, uh, Road Scholars, Road obviously. Scholars one, yep. And That's it. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you're doing you. Pike's Peak Thanks again, but in a different car. Yep. Congratulations on that. That's huge. Thank you. Thank That's a beast. You. And have fun tomorrow at Willow Springs t- testing it. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a big year. We're, we're showing a really cool car at Pebble Beach, and Ren's, we're racing at Rensport and Pikes Peak, so it's a big year. What so are you showing at Pebble? Did you say? Uh, my father's 906E. It's the famous El Tigre car, the Tiger Stripe car that won the South American Bolivarian Championship. So. El Tigre. <laughs> yes yes tigers you got nothing going on tigers yeah. yeah not sleep no sleep oh my god all right mike you sir have a new letterman podcast tomorrow uh dropping in the morning who is your guest this week this week's guest is carter bays who wrote for letterman um uh, on a writing team for three He's years how on i met your mother on... guy right that's right. He went on to create How I Met Your Mother. And hmm. so uh, we had a fantastic conversation and very timely With the, as well. Uh, Carter and Craig. That's right, Carter. Not, and only, not only was your guy on that show, but Jeez. there's a character that was named after you on that yes. show. The oh, Canadian. Yeah. Robin Shabatsky. This was Nicole Shabat, and that was uh, huh. Shabatsky. Is How that where it? the name comes from? Yeah. How so cool she's that? Canadian. The uh, yeah. Shabatsky. The what's her name? The, the actress. Col- Colby. Colby. Colby Smulders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah met she her is. once. She's she used to rep uh, Jason from that show. Jason Siegel from hmm. that show. She used to work with him. Uh, she you're, she you're, opened you're, Sarah Marshall. She she did that was she that movie's famous because of her and Super Bad too. Speaking of. Oh, Super Bad. Why are we talking about your stuff? Why are you yeah, listening well, to us is, babble on? Yeah. I'd rather listen about your life. I wasn't asked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we just keep going. Let's just get another yeah, hour. Yeah, just do the Nicole like, show. Oh, that's interesting as hell. Yeah. So Siegel used to own the bar across the street from the, the, the den, across from Chateau Marmont when he lived behind it. Yeah. He and used I, to live at it. Yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> he loved that area. Yeah, you know, he certainly one. did. Well, that's where my house is. So that's, well, I'm not far from there. Oh, hilarious. And so I remember seeing him in the den, seeing behind the place, seeing him in the chateau. He was there all the time. Oh, all the lovely time. guy. Really, I mean, to, yeah, at least friendly to me, to another guy, you know, coming up and Small interrupting world. somebody you don't know. Small world. Some yeah. other guy that lives in a bar. Yeah. Some other guy yeah. That lives in Who's a bar. this feminine? You guys have to buy Cheers. So, that would be the coolest if I knew, if my friends bought the Cheers bar. That, yeah. that would oh, be the coolest. Yeah. No, Kershaw. I'd put that right in our dealership. He's older. I'd love to have that building. And he lives on the top of it, you know. Get out. His apartment up there is in the local collo- colloquialism, the balls. I mean, it really is. It must be. It's Those ceilings are like 15 feet. Looks down all of uh, Beacon Street. Sure, right yeah. across the park. Yeah. he's. Got he probably looks right down into the little swan rides, the little swan boats. Exactly. A friend of mine used to be one of the peddlers for that. That's another story. Hmm. We're keeping you on the air. That's very, your see, that's incredibly interesting for someone pop culture like me. And for Robin Shabbat Shabatsky, come on. That's cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm, Hello. Right, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> Rain Wilson didn't do a thing for him, but man, he is into this. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, she remember. worked with pretty much everybody who's famous today. Like wow. anybody from the Apatow camp or from yeah. the Will Ferrell camp or from any of the, the Sandler camp, any of those, she has been involved in every single one. How cool is that? As an agent or as a publicist, publicist. but she, but mm, but specifically, she crisis. did personal PR and crisis management was yeah. her specialty. <gasps> so when stories is that why you married Jay? She used to rep Tracy Morgan. Crisis management. You're like I can fix this guy. <laughs> a lot of phone calls. So you, oh Tracy. Oh really? You were like um, I mean they were all public, so you know all about them. Sure. Otherwise. But but, the, but a lot of phone calls. She would have to deal. You with You were shit Ray the Donovan. The you were the fixer. You get it. The fixer. Yeah. Wow. She didn't, it, not the physical, but she was yeah. that, that no, kind I, of powerhouse. I yeah. get it complete. I am so, I had no idea. I'm such a super fan of yours now. I'm even more. What the hell? 
That's really cool. No one asks about me. I'm so in the background. It's great. What an interesting life you've lived, though. That's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I'm yeah. tangentially involved because of the television stuff that I always stayed close to and being a photographer. So, you know, sort of have my fair share of famous people that I've photographed. Mm-hmm. And that's how I would touch upon it. And then the car business, you kind of get, you know, uh, friends of ours was very yeah, very close to Nick Cage for a while and got to see the inside of Oh, yeah, of he's that got a lot of... Fucking whacked world. Um, I was... <laughs> whatever. Yeah. But you've seen literally every... I've been inside S- that one, too. That one's an interesting world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had some cocktails in the old house in Bel Air before you had to get rid of it. And mm-hmm. it's... Yeah, you remember the timing of it all. Yeah, yeah. sure. My... Uh, Robin, my, an ex of mine, was, was an occupational therapist, and she used to work for the Beverly Hills School District, and his, his son was autistic, so she used to rep, uh, work on his son and work with his son. Oh, the son who's in a band now? Is yeah, he was in a band. Crazy exactly. hair. Totally think. gothed out in the whole thing. Yeah. Can't Doesn't look anything like Nicolas Cage. Nothing. Um, and, and so she would have to go to that place you talked about, the other place, all the places. Yeah. Hmm. So when he was married to our cat, or was with our was, cat. Oh, that was a while before. That was a while ago. Yeah, and... They never was lived. That, the, to, that was the nineties, right? They never lived together. Really? Yeah. So that's when I it's it was Patricia early two thousand. Yeah. yeah. And I would. Oh, I would she's in True Romance. I said, you have to exp- True Romance, Nightmare on Elm Street three for me. Oh. I said to me, you got to explain this to me. You're married, and she lives in one house, and you live in another. And he got that. I'm not going to do the any Nick Cage voice, but you know, he did that. Yeah. Well, just think of it this way, man. He's uh, like. When you wake up in the morning, you walk downstairs and go to the kitchen and see your wife. You go down a hallway, and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, I walk to my car, which is my hallway to her house. And it was like. so deep. (laughs) Out of your fucking mind. Keep talking, dude. He's like, you're not going to explain this. You're not going to understand this any other way, so I have to explain it to you just so. Like you're just four. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, we had dinner once in Boston. Uh, we could, I, we could just tell you the more crazy stories of him test driving a cow spider. I mean, getting pulled over at midnight and <laughs> the wig is up one way. <laughs> the cop pulls him over, has no idea who he is, and then asks him for ID in front of us. And he's like, "I'm Nicholas Cage." And the guy's like, "Yeah, it doesn't mean anything to me." Like, I right. need to see some ID. <laughs> like, That's crazy. So great. yeah, we could. Share your publicist stories and getting people out of the soup that they're in. Now you know where to start next time. Yeah, exactly. Start heckling her. It's a good segue into us coming back. <laughs> I hope so. You to no end. We, you, you need to sit there next time so we can. Mm-hmm. Sorry. He knows. To the, it, the talking is tough. She's speak. You're, you're doing really well yeah. today. Yeah, general, yeah. Work really hard. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Super fan. Have you ever seen any of these back from the beginning where she was bu- 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 no. bu- yeah. used to put me in my place? Uh-uh. There is a there's an episode entitled Awkward Part One and Awkward Part Two because in the middle of it we get into a whole couple thing. And no chop way, that you guys right off. there in the middle of the show, you get it. Yep, and we were like, mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And that was to be Do you know why everyone loved you? Because that's like, that's real. Like, that was every couple. No, it was tough. It was tough. But that is why we did it. Because we were like, well, we said we'd be authentic with this shit. Yeah. That's great. (laughs) All right. right. Uh, We love you guys. Love you, too. Love you, too. Love you. We love you. Uh, Mike, Canada, love you, buddy. Check out the Letterman podcast Love you, guys. Good to meet you. Thanks, Mike. And uh, these guys guys follow all their stuff and everything else we said before. Uh, We love everybody. Please love one another. See you out there. Oh, and that shit. I might have made my a couple things here uh <laughs> looking forward to seeing you in florida good vibes meet at the brumos museum in jacksonville that would be interesting i would be open to doing it um we'll be there anyway skip plus yeah yes new england awesome and finally steven Seltzer says you boys should have known better magnus is a brit and brits are famously punctual for everything all right now that we're all caught up have a great night have a great weekend Seltzer. see you out there good on you Fun, man.